When I was a young student uh, back in the early 60s, I attended a lecture about the depressing future of our world. It was a lecture based on the conclusions from Georg Boyström, Palm Scherner, Rachel Carson and others. And it really was a gloomy future we were facing. By the end of the last century, 1990 around, they predicted that at least two-thirds of the population uh, of the world should be heavily starving. It doesn't matter that they were wrong in the prediction. They added a value to the whole process of global development because they were pressing the alarm bell for the first time. And uh, I talked uh, with Johan about it, and uh, you mentioned, truly enough, that they based their prediction and conclusions more on guts feeling than on scientific result. We are better experienced today. We have scientific result to rely on. But what it's all about is that in order to solve the problem, you have to be aware of the problem and to understand it a bit. So awareness is um, one of the most important things. And I could say that I represent here the ordinary man. I'm not an expert, I'm not a scientist, I'm nothing at all. But I'm one of those all of your experience must convince to take the right decisions. A lot of things have happened since Borgström in the early 60s. And, uh, but uh, uh, Balke uh, mentioned one thing that is important. It's not more than 10 years that big corporations really started to understand that business is not inside my own factory. Business, uh, business is both upstream, downstream, and in a context. A very, very important conclusion, and maybe not believed by the public outside yet. I mean, both Nestle and this year's award winner, PepsiCo and others, have to convince the public that this is an honest and true uh, way of doing it. And we are not there yet. Otherwise, what, uh, what is this all about? More crops per drop. Easy to say and easy to understand and something that really can be achieved. Another thing is that better quality of water. About 50%, if I quote Rita correctly, uh, in the problems of undernourishment is caused by infected, in, uh, in poisoned water and problems surround with that. That's actually a figure which we can. We can solve it. There are possibilities. Simple solutions like uh, washing the water through your sari or whatever it is, but it is possible. And then uh, the last one, better efficiency from field to fork. I mean, the film about waste was quite thoughtful. We are throwing away nearly half of what we are harvesting, and that could not be the major idea with it. There are so many things that we could achieve if we reduce waste. So all in all, and side problem of that, I think today about a billion people on this world are undernourished. 1.2 billion are suffering from overweight and malnutrition in, the, in a different way. And uh, the waste problem actually illustrates a little bit what it's all about. We, we should be much more uh, considerable of what we are doing. So concluding, all in all, awareness. And I think we are much more aware today than we were in the early 60s. But maybe not everyone, and maybe not those who really have to be aware, but we are on our way. The other thing that has been underlined here is that if we are going to solve 
our future problems, we have to cooperate between industry, governments, scientists, and all that kind of things. We are more there today than we have been before, but we are not, we are not, we have not reached the goal yet. And the latest thing, not mentioned, but uh, which I think is very important, is that we all should have the courage, courage to admit that although our intentions in many decisions have been the best and the most valuable, some decisions were not right to take. Biofuel uh, has been mentioned as one example. I think the wells in Bangladesh is another one where the best intention in all was to dig wells to the population, but we were not aware of the arsenic problem at that time. And there are many other examples. And, um, but if we can admit that although my intentions were the best, I now have to change opinion and do it another way. If we can do that, I'm, I'm an optimist as well, as I think we all are in the panel and here today. Thank you very much.